And here we are with ICF sample question five. I'll read you the scenario, then again we will look at core competency five. Although in this scenario there are more there is there are more competencies at play than just uh, core competencies C5. I do think that this is the most relevant one here, but there are others in there as well. So the scenario is a coach recently began working with a client to help them plan for retirement. The client is a well-respected teacher who has taught for 30 years at a local elementary school. The client consistently arrives highly prepared and organized for coaching sessions, routinely reporting progress between sessions and identifying specific topics to focus on during coaching conversations. The client shares that they're looking forward to retirement, but they discuss their retirement plans in a very matter-of-fact way. During the current session, the client shares that they have two weeks left before their retirement begins. They would like to focus on a few remaining plans that they need to make. Suddenly, the client begins to cry and says, I have spent, my ha I have spent half my life at this school. I adore my students and my colleagues are my best friends. I can't imagine what my life is going to be like when I no longer walk through the front doors of the school each morning. What should the coach do? So here we have a client who generally has a plan, follows it, is prepared, comes with a topic, wants to talk about this topic. And now they are expressing emotions. They're expressing um, ambivalence. I would say, maintains presence. We have the definition, the coach is fully conscious and present with a client, employing the style that is open, flexible. That's why I think this one addresses core competency five, because we need to be flexible, grounded, and confident. Remains focused, observant, empathetic, and responsive to the client. So responsive to what's happening in the moment, not responsive to the previously mentioned plan. Demonstrates curiosity. Manages one's emotion to stay present with a client. Demonstrating confidence in working with strong client emotions during the coaching process. Is comfortable in working, is comfortable working in a space of not knowing creates or allows space for silence, pause, or reflection. I think here, the flexibility, being observant, empathetic, and responsive, being curious, managing own emotions, and be being comfortable with strong client emotions during the coaching process is what is at play here. So the teacher comes and we are looking for the best and the worst. Again, the same strategy as in all of the other um, competencies or the other sample questions that will find the two worst and the two best. Okay, let's read. Pause for a moment, then ask the client to identify the remaining plans that they would like to focus on today. Ask if the client, ask the client if they are sure they want to retire. Acknowledge that retirement is a significant life transition and that emotional responses are normal. Pause, then acknowledge the emotional impact the transition seems to be having on the client and ask if they would like to spend some time with those feelings. So same strategy, although on this one, it's not so clear. We'll, we'll look at the two best ones and the two worst ones. So pause and acknowledge the emotional impact the transition seems to have and ask if the client would like to spend some time with those feelings. So we have partnering in there. We have acknowledging the emotions. We have comfortable, being comfortable in working with strong clients, emotions. And this is definitely observant, empathetic, and responsive to the client. So this one, I think, would be a good one. Ask the client if they are sure they want to retire. At least picks up 
the ambivalence that the client has expressed. So maybe these two might be the good ones, although this one is not really a good one. Let's look at the two others to see if they are bad ones. Okay, pause for a moment and then ask the client to identify the remaining plans they would like to focus on today. That's completely brushing off the client. It's completely non-responsive. The client is expressing a strong emotion. The client is expressing that they can't imagine what their life was going is going to be like. And the coach is basically saying, yeah, yeah, fine. Um, let's focus on what you wanted from this session. Acknowledge that retirement is a significant life transitions and that emotional responses are normal. That's also not so super bad. So I think in, in this one, it's pretty clear that pause and acknowledge the emotional impact is the best one. And pausing and then basically saying, okay, let's move on is the worst one. These two, I don't know how they rank. I would say they're both not really good, which is an exception. I think what I've observed, usually we have two, two pretty clear good ones and two pretty clear bad ones, but here we have the best one that's pretty clear and the worst one. <laughs>